You ready? Are you? Ready for some good news? First up, a new discovery may help reduce future shortages of blood platelets. Platelets, cells which play a crucial role in the clotting process, are always in high demand but are very difficult to reproduce outside of the body. That could be about to change thanks to a kind of master switch discovered by researchers at the University of Virginia School of Medicine. The switch controls the production by bone marrow of cells called megakaryocytes, which are the cells which in turn produce platelets. The discovery of this biological master switch could not only help to address the problem of the shortage of donated platelets, it could also provide a basis for treating neonatal thrombocytopenia, a condition that affects newborns with low platelet counts. This research is published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. Next up, a team of researchers has created the world's thinnest hologram. Researchers from Australia's RMIT University, in collaboration with the Beijing Institute of Technology, have created a hologram that is a mere 25 nanometers thick. Making holograms as thin as possible is important if holographic technology is ever to be incorporated into electronic devices, such as smartphones or tablets. The holograms created by the RMIT and Beijing team are a thousand times thinner than a human hair, three-dimensional, and can be seen without the aid of special glasses. The team created the holograms using a simple laser writing system that could be used to create holographic displays for small personal devices and also scaled up for more large-scale uses. The era of worrying about screen size may be slowly but surely coming to an end. This research is published in the journal Nature Communications. And finally, engineers at Michigan State University have created a device that can produce its own electricity and act as a loudspeaker and microphone. This is actually a follow-up to a story I shared with you back in December. Remember the ferroelectric generator? Back then, all we knew about it was that it could generate power by converting mechanical motion into electrical energy. Turns out, Feng, as the device is called, can also serve as a microphone by converting sound vibrations into electrical signals. And it can function as a loudspeaker by reversing that process and converting electrical signals into sound. The number of potential applications for a paper-thin device that generates its own power and can serve as a microphone and a speaker is mind-boggling. The MSU team has already created a security patch that can limit access to a computer based on vocal recognition. They also embedded a FANG device in an MSU flag, which was then able to play music streamed from an iPad. Thanks to this technology, the microphones and speakers of the future could be far less expensive, require less power, and be no more apparent than a curtain or an article of clothing. The paper on this newly discovered use of Feng is also published in Nature Communications. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get one of those Feng speakers and I'm gonna have it embedded in the carpet. So whenever you scratch on it with your sharp little claws, it'll just start screaming. What do you think of that? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a little while off yet, so you have some time to prepare. Hey, so a new discovery could help address shortages of blood platelets. Researchers create the world's thinnest holograms, and engineers discover that their ferroelectric generator can not only convert mechanical motion into electricity, but also function as a speaker and a microphone. That's the good news. You know what else? I'm going to get one of those ferroelectric nano generators, and I'm going to have it installed in the bed sheets. And I'll program it so whenever it feels a little kitty paws walking on it, it'll just start making fart noises. And it'll sound like you're the one farting, even if you won't be. What do you think of that? Okay, play it cool. That's fine. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.